Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac. It's time for a random run. We randomed Isaac. You know, I'm not gonna be uh, particular about that. We're gonna go back and random again. And we're gonna random Isaac. And then we're gonna go back. And we're gonna random again, because this is not our Isaac run. Okay, I'll... You know, this is what I deserve. At least they didn't give me a Curse of the Labyrinth. Why Why no common... Why can't I speak English anymore? Um, why do I get Samson and Eve so commonly? And yet, I know I recently had a cane run, but it was like, oh shit, a cane run? Like, alright, better, you know, tighten my belt a little bit. This is gonna be, you know, my one chance. And Judas, very rare as well. Samson's fine. The last time we played a Samson, we had a... Well, it's alright. Uh, last time we played a Samson, we had a, a very, very unlikely but uh, excellent victory. We became guppy after seriously, like, scrounging, scrimping, and saving items uh, for as long as we possibly could and, and barely keeping ourselves afloat, but uh, it, it worked out eventually. And actually, we've had a pretty good run of form in general, you know? Uh, we've uh, won probably five in a row, maybe even six in a row at this point. And that's after, you know, going through a pretty dark period where I wasn't winning very much at all. Um, you know, it, sometimes, oftentimes, you're at the, the whims of, you know, the random item generation and stuff like that when you play Isaac, but, uh... Your skill and, and uh, you, know, you make your own luck, let's put it that way. I apologize if my uh, commentary seems a little disjointed right now. I made the grave mistake of mismanaging my time this morning, so I'm recording this episode without the benefit of caffeine. I have, uh, some coffee next to me, and it's, uh... Cooling, but not nearly at a drinkable temperature yet. And you know, uh, you know, if you work in an office or something like that, um, you'll have people that have mugs that say like, "Don't bother me till I have finished this glass." You know, I gotta have my coffee or I'm real grumpy. And you're like, "Oh, Susan, you're very nice. That's why you work in HR. I could come to you with my problem and you would sort it out." Um, I'm I'm the living em embodiment of that mug. Not because I get grumpy when I don't have caffeine, although yes, that does sometimes happen. As much as I'm ashamed to admit it. Oh my fucking fuck off everything um but uh like my brain just doesn't function properly it's like you know trying to run a, a a car that should not be running on diesel on diesel and i am uh you know i can i can run for a little while and then eventually it's just gonna sputter out but hopefully we can you know reach the equilibrium point at which caffeine is entering my body at the same rate that my brain cells are dying off from not being fed with their addiction and it'll be good uh, we need, we need something on this floor. To not get any momentum on that first floor of Samson is obviously god-fucking-awful. It's ter terrible. Um, I thought about going to our deal with the devil first. Or, not deal with the devil. Hopefully deal with the devil, depending on what we get from the boss, I guess, because we don't have very much HP to trade, if any. Um, and still, you know, remain living afterwards. I can't believe that he actually walked into, like, the one spot that I could dodge there, in my opinion, effectively. Anyway... Um, but I figured we'd go to another room first, you know, try to get to our item room. Maybe our item room would give me something that would benefit me against the boss. And, uh, it, it did. I like Attack Fly. It's not enough to, uh, really write home about right now, except to say, eh, you know, it's a thought that counts. It gave me something that was not shitty. Truth be told, there are some shitty, uh, space bar items that I could actually make pretty good use of right now. Uh, but... You know, the attack fly will stick with us for the remainder of the game, so I guess there's something to be said about that. Let's see who we're fighting here. It's Dookie F, and, uh, he is... One of my favorites. With attack fly, he's a little bit more cumbersome if you don't want to use bombs. Uh, not cumbersome. Dangerous, if you don't want to use bombs. But we do have rage, which will allow us to, to build up some decent damage here, and, uh... If we are brave enough to get close and we watch out for his belches, um, we shouldn't have too much trouble not getting hit. Possibly snagging a deal with the devil, but in order to make any deal with the devil worthwhile, we'll obviously have to get uh, an HP upgrade from this boss fight. Let's see. Well, we did get an HP upgrade from this boss fight. I would probably take nine lives just on its own value right now, on its own merits, which doesn't happen that often. And we get the shovel and Guppy's head, and there's no way... I am going down to zero HP for Guppy's head, and you know, the shovel is, it just makes life harder on me right now unless I'm going for a speed run, so uh, I am unfortunately going to be excusing myself from that room, not taking any items, and uh, that's really, really, really unfortunate because we could use something as Samson, you know, you, Samson's one of those characters, if possible, you want to ball out of control as soon as you can, I mean, you always want to ball out of control as soon as you can, I guess, but you know, his his lifespan is a little bit lower than uh, than your Isaac or Blue... Or not Isaac. Or, sorry, not Blue Baby. He's a little bit lower than your Blue Baby type characters, so... 
Uh, we did find the secret room here, which is lovely, and, uh, it's a slot machine. I guess we play it twice. It's not like we have very much money to back us up anyway. Um, it's not like this is gonna prevent us from going to the, the shop. And we got nothing out of it, but sure, that's fine. We saved our spirit heart rather than walking out and losing it. And, interesting. So, in two floors, we've gotten an attack fly, and... Scapular, admittedly, quite nice, and we've doubled our HP, which is less impressive when you realize we started at zero, or one. Hmm. Still far too hot, but that's alright, the medicine's been taken. Alright, so having these flies might help me not take damage here. Now we've probably got the precedent set for, um, well, the possibility of the precedent being set for a deal with the angel, and you know, I, I could take deal with the devil, I could take deal with the angel, it doesn't matter, both of them provide outs. For victory. Uh, deal with the devil, a little bit more offensive focused. Deal with the angel, a little bit more defensively focused. Items like, you know, relic, miter, guardian angel, etc, etc. Uh, but, but both of them, you know, full of merit and uh, free really good items. That's uh, the most important thing, isn't it? So we did find our boss room right away. We will go through with the fight. I would love like another bomb as our consumable after this fight. Like after this room. Uh, because we maybe that would give us a little bit of uh, I don't know security if we're fighting a difficult boss, which thankfully we're not really. So good use of attack fly there, I'd say. Now we're not gonna harbor too much in the way of uh, design about getting out of this fight without taking damage. I, that's legitimately what I was gonna say before it actually happened. Not that I'm I, I know myself, right? It's not like I'm a psychic. I just know that uh, with low damage, I oftentimes take damage against Fistula just because, you know, brain gets tired of charting out these dodges and uh, whatnot over and over. But anyway, um, we still could get a deal with the devil as long as we don't get hit again. And of course, it, so often I say that and then it happens immediately after. But sure, this is, this is great. I'm happy with it. We got a deal with the angel and we got the pentagram, which I love. Up our base damage, that's good. Uh, and we get the miter. So things are starting to come up for us here. Very much so, actually. This is an excellent, uh, excellent floor so far. The, the pentagram, I do think I overrated a little bit. But anything that ups our base damage is, is great. I used to think it was like a, a game-winning item in and of itself. And, and it's not, but, uh, it does help out a lot. So let's keep it moving here, and, uh, don't F it up. The flies are dangerous, but you'll be fine. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about the Samson run. The the little, you know, caveats that I have are the caveats that I always have at this point in a Samson run. HP is pretty low. If we end up coming across an XL floor on the next not an XL floor, sorry, uh, like a uh, catacombs floor on the next floor, enemies can do one full heart of damage sometimes, and we could find ourselves in a very difficult situation. But uh, until then, I'm feeling pretty good. Now I'm hoping that, uh, you know, one of my tertiary goals, not even a primary or a secondary goal, but one of my tertiary goals is even if we can't go to the shop on this floor, I want to leave this floor uh, with at least five cents so I have the best possible chance of getting an arcade on the next floor. Arcades probably on average pay out with about 75% of an HP upgrade. If you if you looked at it over a long enough you know, time scale, a big enough sample size, uh, I think we probably have about a three quarters chance of getting a blood bag on, uh, <clears throat> on your average arcade. Which means of course on your, on your mean arcade, or sorry, your median arcade, you probably have a better chance than not of getting uh, the uh, blood bag. Because the average doesn't mean that much, but it just pays out or doesn't pay out. Anyway, even if it gave us the IV bag, that's a spacebar item we could take with us. Probably wouldn't for some fairly obvious reasons, I'm guessing. Ah, uh, no, we would take it with us. We just wouldn't be able to really profit off of it too much. But I guess we could turn all remaining health uh, on a floor into, uh, into money by the end of it. Shit, dude, this is actually excellent. So... As, as far as deals with the angel go, we've uh, we've already gotten scapular, relic, and miter in three floors. Uh, and we've only had one deal with the angel, so it's exceptionally unlikely that stuff like that is going to happen, but I'm super stoked that it did. Should have tried to kick that bomb up here, but by the time I even thought about it, it was too late. That's not the secret room, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, well, then, it's possible there is no secret room on this floor. We've had that happen a few times. But I am going to waste almost all of our bombs looking for it, just in, you know, a, perhaps a vain attempt to spawn the arcade. Oh, man. Dad's key? Well, for once, we're actually taking Dad's key with us. I'm pissed because we won't have any money here, but whatever. Uh, we got to go. 
So dad's key, we can't use it to open doors uh, that require a key. But we can use it to open doors, like I think we can use it to open the boss room. We can use it to open boss trap rooms or mob trap rooms. It's a very unusual item. Uh, I'm, I'm not really stoked to have it, but I really only traded one bomb for it, or however many bombs it took me to get to the secret room. And now it's taken out of the rotation. And maybe it'll allow me to gain access to a boss trap room easily or something like that. So, it's not the end of the world. So this run's going very well right now. Um, you know, relative to your average Samson run at least. What I could really use is a little bit more HP. And, uh, you know, I think the smart money is on probably getting a little bit more HP over the course of this entire run. Uh, this room, I hate. So we are, by the way, our, our nightmare is coming true here. We're on uh, the catacombs, and these enemies can do one full heart of damage. So we have to be very, very cautious. Luckily, our damage is higher thanks to the pentagram. That's going to make things substantially easier on us. And we're going to get out of this room, I think. Yeah, not so bad. Okay. Um, I think we can handle this room pretty easily. Would have liked it if our attack fly actually did a little bit more there, but that's my bad for not timing it properly. Let's try this again. Now our damage is good enough. Oh, we actually caused them to switch planes there. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to take you into the fucking astral plane before I go insane. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, relic, miter, working out. That was obviously a, uh, a relic drop. Now... Our damage is stronger, so I'm, I'm content to be fighting whoever we're going to fight here. I kind of just hope that it's someone easy, though. I mean, you always do, right? But, hey, that's easy enough. It is. Uh, we don't really have anything that we can kill for crowd control, but luckily we did get that extra base damage very recently, so that's going to work out in our favor. Um, the real problem with what we got here is that the creep is going to make it, so I don't really want to get close to peep. And, uh, yeah, when he does, just does this... Oh, I hate that shit so much. It's like the fake jump is the greatest AI tactic in video game history. How am I supposed to deal with that? Stop jumping, you motherfucker. I'm actually like... I, mean, I know I'm not going to die on this fight. But I am genuinely concerned about taking enough damage to not qualify for a deal with the Angel. Because we're really getting down to the point where we probably have the best odds we've had in a long time to get something like Sacred Heart. Uh, and I would I would love for that to, to come true and be a reality. So don't lose, don't get hit anymore basically is what I'm trying to get at I guess. Now, oh, yeah I had a little bit of an advantage there. It didn't last too long, but because he's uh, you know got himself behind these rocks, if he stands there I can be pretty safe here, but also use my um, attack fly to get in some sweet damage. R sweet, relatively risk-free damage. Oh, careful. And... Just keep moving. Oh, no! It's always, like, right in my moment of strength. that of course, I got hit even one more time before the end. Oh, well. Uh, we got some HP, so... At the very least, this floor is not going to be a total wash. We still have an item room. We still have the possibility of going to the shop. We'll see. We're just going to walk into our item room, as one might expect. And Sacrificial Dagger. Acceptable. You know, kind of like a more close range attack fly. What else we got over here? Curse room we will absolutely go to. It will cost us a, um, a spirit heart. That's fine by me. It will um, possibly give me access to the secret room as well, which could be pretty valuable. Maybe we could actually make something happen with our shop on this floor. Free keys is always nice. No secret room over here. Well, at least we're not going to waste a bomb looking for it now. Probably the worst curse room I could possibly imagine, except for one where we actually get hit. So this means that our, well, in all likelihood, at least our secret room is probably uh, adjacent to kind of like our starting area there. Could be enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Could be greed in the shop, but that could be okay. Still holding on hope for like a boss trap room or something like that. Okay, so there's nine cents, which means one penny makes it uh, plausible for us to go to the shop. We'll see. Again, uh, so far so good. Not a, you know, not the most incredible run I've ever had as Samson, but certainly I've had worse ones as well. Very easy final room, and that's going to do it, unfortunately. How many possible second secret room locations are there? There's one, two, three. I think we can use a bomb and find the second secret room mathematically here. Okay, so it's not there. It could be the adjacent to this shop down here, or like adjacent to the room that's just prior to this shop down here. So it could be here. 
And... It is. Okay, good. That doesn't really help us out all that much. Except to say that I actually might be able to swing being able to go to the shop here. I know that was a really roundabout sentence. But what I'm getting at is that, um, you know, I can come in here and walk on this thing a couple of times. And then come back down here, use a bomb. And uh, get some health back and then rinse and repeat. I don't want to use all my bombs because there is maybe a slot machine that I could just blow up and, and get a penny out of it as well. But I, this seems a little bit more creative, right? A little bit more thinking outside the box. Now, it might be not the best idea of all time, but... Isaac's all about this experimentation, you know, the sandbox that you can play around with and learn some stuff. Maybe we'll even get a golden chest out of this as well. We did. And it paid out with a second gold... No, it's a, a little chest. Okay. We got a spirit heart out of it. I don't feel too bad about that. Um, it, I mean, wasn't that good, but at least we didn't get totally fucked. And uh, now we'll come down to the slot machine and we'll just explode the shit out of it. Assuming the flies can't knock this bomb out of the way. I'm actually, I'm very impressed the lengths at which the game has gone to avoid giving me another penny. It's actually kind of crazy. Find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm penniless are, you know, making me a little mad, honestly. Down to the next floor, still holding Dad's key, unfortunately, but that floor was a slight improvement. Sacrificial dagger, sure. This is, that's the motto, it's like... You ever watch the uh, the Flight of the Concords uh, HBO show back? Well, you can watch it now, but you know it aired back in like 2007, 2000, or 2008, 2009. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, they they always had like these posters on the wall about New Zealand tourism, and it was like New Zealand. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh wow, sacrificial dagger. Thank you. Or like New Zealand rocks, and it's just like a picture of rocks. I'm not hating on the you know the glorious country of New Zealand either. Probably one of the most at least uh, amongst people that I know, New Zealand is like one of the most like dream destinations for for tourism. That's crazy cool. But uh, it was it was funny how in the show they kind of played up this this quaintness. Anyway, um, that's that's how I feel about Attack Fly. It's like Attack Fly, it's not bad. Attack Fly, you're not gonna you, like. Do you have a reroll? Well, have fun. It's kind of how I feel about Dad's key right now as well. Seriously, one penny. That's all I need. Like, winos want their good whiskey. Now, please work with me here. Uh, we're going to open this up now. Possibly greed. I'm just content to actually get in here. And finally, we've gotten ourselves the compass. Which actually is nice because it will illuminate whether there's boss trap rooms. Which there's not, but that's okay. So I don't know what we use Dad's key for. This is like, I know I haven't used Dad's key at all so far. Allow me to plead ignorance. I really just don't know what we should be using it for. I My hunch is we use it for boss trap rooms. Maybe. Here, let's try this. Yeah, okay, so we can use Dad's key and get ourselves out of the mob trap room. Was that worth it? Well, it's worth it, I guess, if we like gain access to boss trap rooms, pick up the item, and then Dad's key out of them. That could be creative, but whatever. Sorry, I, I bumped my mic with my coffee cup there, but this run's starting to pick up a, a little bit of momentum, sort of. I guess we got the compass. I feel like our odds of getting a deal with the angel are pretty low. We have relic, miter, scapular. This is why I shouldn't get too down on myself. Relic, miter, scapular. That's very good. And again, please let me spawn an arcade on this floor. Like, the next floors. Please let me get enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Okay, good stuff. Almost, I have such a terrible tendency to dodge into those shots. It's trying to get too creative with things. Okay, spirit art's getting stacked up here. Um, this room should not be too, too bad. With, uh, with Rage, with the Attack Fly, with Sacrificial Dagger. Should be able to take uh, a lot of them out before they become a real, genuine problem. Good, good, good. Justice. Uh, great card. That gives us the key we need to get into the item room. Very happy to have that, and, uh, no better time to use it, I'd say. Alright, so we'll, you know, hone our Rage skills on the little, uh, guts here. Do, 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 do you have it? Sounded like I was making fun of stutterers there. I assure you that's not the case. That's just the intro to the, you know, smash hit Nickelodeon kids gladiatorial combat show. Uh, Global Guts or Nickelodeon Guts or... There were various different kinds of guts involved in the in the television process. No guts were harmed in the filming of this product. Some kids, like, pull their rotator cuffs sometimes. Alright, Book of Sin, you know, it's better. Is there anyone that's going to argue with that? Beyond the... The clever, quote-unquote, usages that you could possibly uh, 
you know, get out of dad's key. Uh, I think most people would agree that Book of Sin, while not a, you know, great item, is uh, certainly preferable to dad's key overall. If you disagree, I would, I would love to know why, I will admit. I'm not getting disheartened with this run, because again, we, we've had a, a, an incredible amount of luck. The luck's just kind of come in, in one, uh, one area, except for the pentagram, which admittedly, you know, we have only had four boss rooms, but, um, you know, it, it's mostly been defensive. And that's okay. You know, you need some defense to make a run work. But uh, sometimes you need a lot of defense to make a run work. But I would really, really appreciate some high-value uh, offensive items now. Because my damage is good, it's okay at least, but it's not good enough to not take a lot of damage, if that makes sense. Like, on the depths here, I would like to be not four-shotting these brains. Like, the brains have a decent amount of HP, but, like, two-shotting them seems reasonable. Otherwise, I- or give me the ability to fly so that things like creep are not, uh, meaningfully, uh, you know, deleterious to me anymore. Not to pull out $10 words for a fucking 69 cent cause, I'm just saying. Alright, so we are, uh, gonna get a cube of meat here. Which, truth be told, is is fine. I'm I'm happy to have it. You know, there are there are problems with getting a cube of meat, namely that I already complained about having too many defensive items. But another orbital is uh, it's not an exception to the rule. It's just just worth getting, isn't it? So here's my thinking for war: is uh, we're gonna try to get close and let sacrificial dagger do some damage, even though it's potentially super fucking stupid and risky. Now, the bombs should not be too much of an issue. That was really close. Oh, good, yeah. Smart damage there. I would uh, abandon all hope for a deal with the devil or angel here, and I'm starting to abandon all hope for, you know, just getting out of this with not, without being hurt too much. These bombs are helping. Okay, how's our speed? I, I never thought about it, which means, yeah, probably a little not great, but we're gonna get out of this fight alive at the very least. And that's pretty much, we, I'd say we got what we deserve there. Didn't do particularly well. But there's more orbitals. Shall we go to this last room? Of course we shall go to this last room. There's no reason not to. And I'm just starting to feel like uh, I'm getting ground down a little bit here. Part of it is my own shitty play, but... I'm feeling the grind a little. Now, if I were a secret room, I would probably be here. Okay. That's a lot of money. That's, that's enough money to go to the arcade on the next floor, fight greed, and then uh, spawn... Uh, so I go to the shop on the next floor, fight greed, but also spawn an arcade. So I feel great about that. I'm excited about that. What else do we have up here? All right, a room full of hoppers. Uh, at least there's no turrets here, which actually gives me a decent chance of not taking as much damage, perhaps. Almost uh, dodged myself right into that shot there like an idiot. I I'm not happy with myself, but at the same time, for some reason, my damage sensor is calibrated higher than it should be. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that because I picked up the pentagram, I should be amazing, or because I'm Samson and I killed some enemies, I should be doing crazy damage, but I'm not. That's my own personal fault, not the game's fault. But we still have a pretty good chance of winning here. Just gotta... Be a little better is maybe the step one. Be a little better, because, you know, I could say like, oh, I didn't get given great items, but... Part of the reason I, we didn't spawn an arcade, by the way, but part of the reason I haven't been given great items is because I've, I've taken away my chances to get great items by playing poorly on bosses. But, we, uh, we have an interesting floor here. It's not as seamy as a lot of floors. You know, I say, you know, you just gotta find a floor, open up some seams. Oftentimes, that is our final floor, or like a final, um, type floor. Oh, there is a blood bank. Never mind. This floor might be a little seamy. I, I didn't even mention that we picked up Mom's Pearl, by the way, which is a great trinket for, uh, you know, Spirit Heart generation. Which is going to help us out a lot, because we're going to be trying to earn our HP plus speed upgrade here. The money is more or less meaningless at this point, as you might expect, but... We definitely want to give ourselves the best chance possible. Don't give me the IV bag, that's all I ask. And inside of here we do have Greed. Uh, it's not worth using the death card on Greed, until, at the very least, he spawns some, uh, some hoppers. Even, like... It's, it's nice this way, because we build some damage on them as well, but... Maybe we won't even have to use our death card at all, but... The most, the biggest priority for me, yeah, we'll use it, is, sincerely, we might as well pick up the steam sale, right? It's possible there's a D6 in the item room, just pretty like, pretty unlikely. Um, let's keep going here. I think we're gonna be, like, okay for this floor, it just might get more difficult later. I forgot what I was mentioning a little earlier. Anyway, 
It was, it was probably pertaining to the greed fight, which is now meaningless because, you know, we won't have to fight greed for the rest of the run unless we want to on a secret room. Or, I guess, on, um, you know, rooms on the chest that have three mini-bosses. Okay, so all we really have left is, uh, you know, mob trap room could be beneficial. Curse room, I have to go to it. And uh, also, of course, our item room. And uh, our item room is of critical importance, as you might expect. Uh, I really need it to be better than what we've gotten so far. We have gotten some okay items. You know, scapular from our first item room is probably the kind of thing that, that is beneficial. Um, and there might be a way to, like, scam that blood bank by playing with scapular, but I only know how to do it if there's also, like... If, if there's other red hearts that we can use. I remember doing it. Oh, okay. That's actually very nice. I'll probably get that spirit heart as well, um, even if it does cost me a bomb. Bombs are kind of precious, as you saw against war, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I tried to use the attack fly effectively there. I'd say it worked pretty well. That eternal heart, very nice. This pill, it's only our second one. Bombs are key. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a little bit bad, I'd say. But, truth be told, it, it's it's okay. It means we're gonna have to be a little bit more cautious. Fuck. A little bit more cautious about our use of bombs, I guess. There we go. Uh, for now. But it does mean our key situation is basically sorted, so there is that. Uh, what do we have in our mob trap room? We have a golden chest. I will open it, but first I'm going to go to the item room just in case it ends up being, um, you know, very useful. Now there is another golden chest here as well. I, I think I would be stupid to not use bombs to try to get these. Considering that we have a golden uh, key, and this is probably the old, only golden key we're going to get over the course of this run. Might as well uh, give ourselves the best chance possible to actually get more items, especially considering what we need, uh, which is attribute-based for the most part. Okay, chariot card's gonna be good as well. We'll probably use that on the blood bank. All right, so we got some money there. We got uh, skinny odd mushroom here, which is great. I love skinny odd mushroom. Uh, very much higher rate of fire. Our damage is gonna go down ever so slightly, but it's compensated for by the, the rate of fire now. That's actually a huge boost for us, especially considering we have rage, so the faster we kill enemies, the better it is. So we got a key, um, you know, basically we're trading this room for a key. Which is okay, because we didn't spend a key to open it, we used the golden key. But, obviously I was hoping for something a little bit more be uh, more better. A little bit better. Um, like better than my grammar, for example. Now, one more series of enemies. Once we really get our rage built up, like Skinny Odd Mushroom, we're going to feel the, the burn in a good way there. Uh, from Skinny Odd Mushroom, because we're going to have pretty high damage and an exceptional rate of fire. And for once, or not for once, but... Unlike sometimes, we actually have a pretty nice uh, suite of orbitals to kind of protect us. A little, at least. Two pills. This pill gave me full health, yeah. And this one sucked now. Okay. That was a surprisingly apt improvisation of uh, the Spin Doctor's Magnum Opus 2 Princes. I feel okay about that. So we're going to take those good feelings up here to the Blood Bank and hopefully get a speed plus HP upgrade. Really want to keep uh, as many spirit arts as possible, or even gain more, because uh, we will have to. Oh, fuck. We have to carry that eternal heart uh, into the boss fight, so we uh, will need as much protection. Oh, we'll want as much protection as we can get. We may not need it. So we got the IV bag. You know, if if some butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a merry Christmas. Sometimes shit doesn't pan out the way you want it to. And, uh, that's, that's life, man. That sucks, but we gotta work with it. We're still not, we're not in a much worse position as a result of not getting, uh, the HP. But we would have been in a better position if we got the HP. I, I think that actually does make a decent amount of sense. You know, we're not actively hit. It's like pirating a movie or something like that. I was not actively stolen from, but, uh, you know, I... I would like it more if you had paid me for the movie. I'm playing the role of an MPAA executive here. Anyway, we got our second Eternal Heart, so I can stop bitching and moaning uh, now because that will actually finish our Eternal Heart from over here. So we did get some HP. That's quite nice. I may not get that Spirit Heart now. It seems a little bit less useful, a little bit less... Not useful. A little bit less integral to our chances of success now that we don't have an Eternal Heart to protect. Good news is we have a Chariot card that we can save for later. Um... Not sure if there's really any time when we can benefit from using it more than we would benefit from using it on a blood bank. But we can use it on a blood bank on, um, you know, at, later in the game, which normally we never play because it's just too likely that they'll end up fucking us over. So, 
I'm, uh, I'm okay with this for now. We may not end up getting a payout from the Chariot card, but it's either that or you use the Chariot card on a boss. And, uh, you know, it helps you not take damage by giving you a period of invincibility. That's good, too. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. More keys. Sure. I, I still, you know, I'm kind of regretting that bombs are key pill. Not that I had a choice in the matter, really. Except, I did, well, I could have not taken it, but then I wouldn't know what it is. So, it, it would have just been a matter of time regardless. And, at this point, like, this runs fairly solid. Let's be honest. Especially with Skinny Odd Mushroom helping us out. It, it, it changes the dynamic a little bit. But we're still uh, a couple of items away from, uh, you know, really feeling super comfortable here. And what what my main plan is, is, um, you know, as much as is humanly possible, give ourselves the best chance of getting a deal with the devil on uh, the next floor, assuming it's not an XL floor. And what's my plan against mom? Uh, it's, like, red mom? It's, it's fairly high risk, high reward. We're gonna get close, and we're gonna let our orbitals do damage. Not, um, not attack fly, although that would help too. But, uh, Cuba meat and... Mom's or sacrificial dagger. As long as we maintain a relatively distant distance, we should be fine. But we do have to get a little too close. You know, I wouldn't recommend this as a, a beginner level tactic. We get a speed upgrade. I'm gonna take it again. If we get lard or something, we'll regret not taking a speed upgrade. Down to the next floor. Very easy. Utero one. We have to. I I hate to lose two spirit hearts for this, but yep. Yeah. So that is like, again, a just truly awful curse room. Uh, that, okay, things have not gone well for me on, on Utero 1 so far. Lost all of my spirit hearts. Haven't taken red heart damage though yet. There's, there's still a light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully it never goes out, but I'm starting to think that that might be a little dubious. Okay, there we go. Now that the, the, the central eye is dead, we'll be fine. Um, even though our speed is actually maybe a little bit of a detriment because I'm more likely to dodge into enemies. Okay. Another spirit heart to protect me. One spirit heart to rule them all. One spirit heart to blind them. I don't know. I It's been a while since I was super into my Lord of the Rings, the Silmarillion phase. Careful. Okay. I don't know why they divided there, but I'm glad they did. Maybe they just got bored of not being killed. What do we got? Oh, okay. Bombs are key. Do we want to trade back? Do, 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 do we want to? Guts! Anyway, two keys for this. Then maybe we'll make the decision to trade back. I kind of like having ten keys, though, honestly. Um, it allows me to do things like open that golden chest. As for, uh, you know, how valuable this chariot card is, it is valuable. You know, it, it's worth holding. Please, yes, just the nub. It's just the combination of enemies made this room a little tricky. What do you got? Eh, probably nothing. I think it's better to take the chariot card, and I think we'll just say, you know, bombs? Bombs are fine. Okay. I feel pretty okay about this, but uh, this this floor is, is definitely a, a big moment for us. This either, you know, carries us over, conceivably, or it's, uh... It dooms us, kind of, because if we don't get anything great here, we don't get anything great for the rest of the game until the chest, which we need to beat Isaac for. So I got a pretty fly just from a random pill, which is awesome. Um, that's going to give us a, a full suite of orbitals. Sacrificial Dagger may or may not actually block shots, so it may not actually be worth um, mentioning as a defensive item, but at the very least, we got one more defensive item there. That's what Pretty Fly does for us, and, you know, that's, that's one of the best pills we could probably ask for. Well, I mean, pretty much objectively, as long as we don't have a full suite of orbitals, Pretty Fly is a great pill. You could you could argue maybe even more than an HP upgrade at this point. I'm not saying I agree with it, I'm just saying you could argue it. I wouldn't, but you could. Um, early in the game, I don't think there's an argument. I think H HP is a more flexible kind of stat. Now, don't uh, cause yourself... There you go. Oh, we did get a deal with the devil. Holy shit. Uh, fool card, I'd say, is pretty much worthless. Even if this is a fight against Krampus, I'd be okay, but... Yeah, okay, this is pretty good. So we could take the Mark and Whore of Babylon. And it wouldn't kill us. It would make us run entirely on Spirit Hearts, though, which is very scary. But it would give us permanent Polaroid Invincibility, and we have Relic and Miter. Let's give it a try. If this kills me, I apologize so hard. Okay. So we're going for Broke. We do... The only reason I did this was not to be like... Not to give myself a convenient means for suicide, despite what you might expect. But it's because I do have Relic and Miter, so I can, um... 
you know, I can, I can keep myself alive. Oh, fuck. Uh, relatively well. Relatively well. The, the invincibility helps out a lot, too. Um, you know, and when I do have permanent Polaroid invincibility, I can run into enemies, man. I, uh, I have a sacrificial dagger. I've got some orbitals. Pretty fly doesn't do offensive damage. Uh, but attack fly does, and uh, sacrificial dagger surely does. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is not going to be easy. And it may actually be one of the worst decisions I've ever made in Isaac. But it may be one of the coolest decisions I've made in Isaac, too. So bear with me there. The moon. Less valuable than the chariot. Really sucks that I can't use my compass for anything meaningful here. I, yep, I was going to say I hate this room. Because we can't dodge effectively, but... You know, next room we should get something from the, uh... Oh, nice. Next room, we should get something from the relic. I don't think it's worth fighting in a, a room like this. I, I still think our chances of losing are pretty uh, high. We could have... You could make a case, I guess, that maybe just taking the mark was the best decision, but... You know... <clears throat> wow, uh, Book of Sin worked out very well for us there. I think at that point, you're... I'm not going to say you're splitting hairs, but I think you're being very optimistic, let's say. To say that having, like, two hearts, two red hearts is better than, like... No red hearts, but permanent Polaroid invincibility. I would disagree with you there. Okay, full health. Doesn't do anything for us, but we did get another spirit heart, so that's good. Sometimes aggression is the right play. In video games, in, in, in real life, you know, less so. Please don't use my words as justification to be, you know, a criminal, basically. Ooh! I was really hoping that would be a secret tinted rock. And it always seems that these Samson runs, you know bring out the uh, creativity, shall we say. What, what little I have, at least. So again, as mentioned, we could use this creativity, or not this creativity, this chariot. Similar, sort of. They both start with the same letter, as do thousands of other English words, I guess, but... Um, yeah, we, we could play uh, this blood bank with it, but we don't really want to win what it, what it would be offering us, so... We're not going to deal with that, but we may go into that arcade nonetheless, because if they have a fortune teller, that could be a huge boost to my chances. Worth noting, also, we still have an awful spacebar item. Like, Book of Sin is not very good. It's just, let's just put it that way. Now, watch out for trinkets here, but the uh, the fortune teller is really what we're looking for. We're hoping also that if, with these red hearts that we win, if we win them, it's possible the miter might influence them to become spirit hearts. I don't know if that's actually, you know, how that works, but I think it might be. If we could get the crystal ball or something here, that would, uh, that would really help out a lot. Um, push pin is pretty bad. Just spirit hearts, and I don't, I don't need trinkets, basically. That trinket would have been amazing earlier in the game, but, uh, for right now, Bloody Penny is, uh, absolutely functionally worthless. Really do not want fly, love. And there it is. So, Ace of Spades is pretty good. But we can't do anything with it. I do have fly love now, which is, it is what it is, right? Now we're gonna play this, uh, probably, I was gonna say laboriously, but no, it's already over. Okay, we'll use one bomb here to maybe get a spirit heart. Nope, some money though. Eh, truth be told, that didn't go out as, uh, well as I planned. But oh well, you know, shit happens sometimes. Now. Brain guys should not be too much of a problem. We did get fly love, it's weird to say, but apart from the one spirit heart we picked up, fly love is probably the best thing that we got there. Um, maybe will save me from taking one or two hits of damage over the course of the game, which is worth more than a spirit heart at this point. Now, this is, uh, you know, a little bit of augmented movement here. I can't really move as far as I would like. A, hey, thank you very much. We actually are stacking up spirit hearts pretty nicely here. Hey, okay. Don't blow up. This judgment is, uh, very interesting. My worst nightmare is that he pins me in a, a position where the only way I can get out is by picking up an HP upgrade that he gave me. But, you know, we have, we have money to burn and he could possibly give us something very useful, so... Or a lot of little useful things. You know, like a stocking at Christmas or something. And... okay. Interesting. Range downgrade. Pretty fly. We'll pop that just in case we end up losing our cube of meat somehow. And it's a lot of legwork to get pills here, but could be worth it. Full health is worthless, so we'll just take it. Bombs are key. So I would say that was not what I was hoping for. But what's done is done. 
All right, dub gluttony. Don't pay out with less than three. 99% of the time, I want you to pay out with less than three. This time, I want you to drop some spirit hearts. Just drop some fat spirit hearts. And that'll be great. Nope, there's less than three. Tried to knock that into some rocks. Oh, hello. Well, I know you're not going to drop mom's coin purse again, so let's do this shit. It's also a little bit less, uh, you know, cramped over here. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee. Ooh. Wonderful. Notched axe, huh? Well, notched axe is really bad, so we're going to leave. Very interesting items on this run. We've had to work for it. Let's put it that way. So many range downgrades. What am I going to do with the fucking range downgrade? Wipe my ass with it and make it a suppository. And I suppose you would like that. All right. Uh, I am thinking that we don't use bombs here. We save bombs because we may actually need those on the Isaac or Blue Baby fights. Our rage buildup is going to be pretty good. Should allow us to kill bosses very, very quickly. Um, it's, it's mostly the little enemies that are going to be annoying. I think, at least. Now, yeah. I'm hoping that we can actually get it uh, in sync sometimes where our attack fly can actually do some damage. Hasn't happened so far, though. It's going to be a little bit of a longer mom's hard fight than usual as a result of this, but... Another thing we can do is get, uh, you know, get real close when it's spawning enemies. We two-shotting these guys now, okay. Get real close when it's uh, spawning enemies, so uh, our sacrificial dagger does some damage. It is risky, though. Slightly. Oh, that's good timing right there. Okay. Duke of Flies? Well, I have Fly Love, so I'm not very concerned. Pretty good. Alrighty, then. We got Chub and Permanent Bombs? No, not quite yet. That was scary. We should uh, tear Chub's a uh, asshole, the new asshole, pretty soon. We're going to tear your asshole a second asshole. It's going to shit out of it, and it's, it's going to hurt a little bit most of the time. But it's going to be too proud to go to the doctor, so it's going to develop an infection. And then, you know, possibly it'll have life-threatening consequences. Sorry, did that get too real? Now, we're just going to stand back here, you know, deal with our uh, our shit, not get hit. This, this fight went really well. We also earned a spirit heart for it. Watch out for that creep. And we actually... Oh, Curse of Darkness again. Come on, work with me here. Um, I'm, I'm very proud of how we did on that floor. And I'm very proud of myself for having the sack to make that decision to lose all of my red hearts. Uh, to, to sacrifice them all. I mean, we got very lucky that the deal with the devil was such that we could do it in the first place. You know, the right per, uh, permutation of um, cost and also usefulness, especially Horror Babylon. But the mark's good, too. We still may not win on this run, but we're at least giving it, um, giving it our all. As you can tell by the fact that I'm gambling here. So, I mean, these are normally pretty good trinkets, but obviously I can't take them. I am waiting for, like, a better uh, tarot card. Then uh, the chariot it hasn't come around yet, though. Emperor is pretty good. Well, I think what we end up doing is maybe use the emperor card, but then, yeah, we just use the emperor card on this room. We end up losing out on either the chariot or wheel of fortune, whichever one you would see fit. But it saves us from going through the entirety of the cathedral, which is gonna cost me more damage than it's gonna give me in health uh, from relic and miter. So yeah, th that's what we're gonna do once we're done with this thing. We have to stick with the polaroid, though. That's important. Right now, I have wheel of fortune. I gotta change that. Or I could blow both these up, but I'm not going to get too funky with things. Come on, give me some spirit hearts here. Work with me. Child's heart, it's terrible. At, at almost all times. Nine cents remaining. No spirit hearts yet. Or give me crystal ball, man. We're not going to use crystal ball right now. We'd use it on the next floor, but still. Okay, I mean, curved horn, these are all, except for child's heart, very good trinkets. S tier, you know, I would say. But... So far, so bad for stuff that's actually useful for us. Um, that's the chariot card, and we lost the Polaroid. Don't drop the tick. Just if, if nothing else, don't drop the tick. Flat penny, also pretty good. Well, the Emperor card in and of itself might be an incredible blessing, I'll admit. So we have permanent Polaroid invincibility. What's, what's our tactic for this fight? Uh, every time we get hit, run the fuck up. Sacrificial Dagger will do a ton of damage, and, you know, mathematically speaking, if we do maximum amounts of damage every time we get hit, I'm pretty sure there's no way we can lose. So we should end up banking a few Spirit Arts to take with us. The more the merrier, of course, but at least then we have some items we can open on the chest and maybe make some good things happen that way. 
So we're on the second phase and we've only been hit once. That's really good. Keep in mind we do have more or less a full suite of orbitals. I'm not going to complain about Sacrificial Dagger possibly not blocking shots when it's also, you know, my primary damage dealer when I actually get hit. It's a nice balance of offensive and defensive uh, orbitals right here. So we're on the third phase and we've been hit twice. That's pretty good uh, and leaves me a lot of hope that uh, we don't need a ton of health to actually be able to beat Blue Baby. Now we have end. It, it hasn't been a terribly unlucky run, but uh, we've had to make some tough decisions as well. So no matter how this goes, just beating Isaac, I'm relatively proud of this situation because we could have uh, we could have lost it earlier. It's not been the most uh, amazing run so far, but we we could have found a way to lose it for sure. Razor blade, uh, damage upgrade, Celtic cross, and uh, HP upgrade but again. Uh, so the razor blade's a weird one. I can't remember if it's super overpowered if you're on permanent Polaroid invincibility. That was awful damage. We should earn some spirit hearts back though, at some point. I can't believe that we didn't kill all three there. There we go. So there's our spirit heart. Ah, two spirit hearts back. Okay. It's not like we can reroll anything, so it's a little bit of a, you know, a tricky situation here. You know, if, if you have uh, trigger warnings for like epilepsy or something, you may want to close your eyes during this Gertie fight. That's not me making a joke, that's me being genuinely concerned. I, as far as I know, don't have a family history of epilepsy and no history of it myself, but, you know, looking at this um, Gertie as it like goes, it kind of makes me feel like my brain's going through some, you know, weird stuff, if that makes sense. It, it probably doesn't. Anyway, we're going to kill uh, Gluttony next. And we're gonna kill Sloth last, because we are pretty much right next to the boss fight. And uh, the tarot card that Sloth gives us could be what wins us the game. Mind you, if we go to the boss fight with this much health, I think we're gonna win the game anyway. I would love another spacebar item that was just better than Book of Sin at this point. Well, Bob's rotten head. Be careful what you wish for, right? And the poop, amazing. So no tarot card for me. Um, who do we kill last here? Probably make a pretty good case for killing uh, Wrath last, I would say. Lust, maybe, because you could get Poison Touch or something, but... It's really hard to kill Lust last, because it rushes you down. Whereas the other enemies, you know, they, they pose much less of an immediate threat. Makes them easier to compartmentalize and then take them out later, as your priority order sees fit. Okay, so we got two bombs. I mean, we probably won't end up using them, but that's fine. Alright, I think we're I still think we're gonna win. But that was kind of bad. Kinda. <laughs> Walking into that poop when I already knew there was poop on that room and taking damage was kind of bad. Cutting myself with that sharp knife while I knew that it was sharp and said, Oh, I should be careful. Yeah, that was not my finest moment. Okay, so I'm pretty confident in our chances of victory here. Uh, I'm starting to feel like maybe we're on, you know, the streak part three here. Feeling, feeling pretty good about the way that we've been performing lately. Mind you, it's not over yet. Let's be cool. We are in the third phase, uh, almost. Like right now, yeah. And we've only been hit twice, maybe three times. We need to get hit four more times. Uh, five more times actually to actually lose so I'd say our chances of that happening are pretty much nil but that being said things can go wrong and, and have gone wrong now they're not going to though so as always thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed that run I enjoyed that run a lot if you did click the like button it helps out a great deal and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future but for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time